¿Qué tal? Escúchame. Welcome to Parque Fernando. We'll keep this brief before my nieces pendejitos act up again. Oye, deja esto. Si la insultaste, puedes pedirle disculpas. No me mandé disculpas. What the hell is going on? Okay, down to business. You came highly recommended as the warden to turn these lies of wild Patagonia into a world-class hunting reserve. Naturally, I expect you to hit the ground running, even though this is your first time here. Stretch your legs out. I'll start you off with some routine responsibilities. You can do this in any order. I don't care as long as you do the jobs well. I try not to micromanage. Well... Not too much. To get the lay of the land, you'll want to go to the nearest lookout tower. Mark on your GPS. Climb on up and take in the view. Easy. There's also a hunting outpost nearby, and I'd like you to prepare it for upcoming guests. My couch of friends do all the heavy lifting with the outpost. You just need to put on the finishing touches. Bring things up to the standard of a professional hunter. Then bring them up a little more. Piste. If you're reaching for a hunt, you can harvest some game for the construction crew building our central lodge. I like to keep the people who work for me fed and fed well. It helps them stay loyal. Our chef can prepare anything but a puma. See what you can find in the area. I'll chime in to help if you need it. Okay, so I think that's most of the dialogue out of the way. Guys, welcome to Park Fernando. Track animal. Mule deer. So, we've got a bunch of new animals at this reserve. Look at this place. There's so much color here as well. They weren't lying. I did watch the dev streams and they weren't lying. There's a lot of greenery on this map. And I like the narration as well. It feels, feels very down to earth, if that makes sense, you know? like something you would hear, it's not overly done. So these are the purple fields that we saw from the Wish You Were Here postcards that we found at Leighton Lake. And this is my very first time playing, guys. It's literally just dropped. So I thought I'd jump in and experience it with you guys. Look at this place, though. It's got like a hint of the Savannah map. You guys getting that too? Like, I think it's the trees that are doing that. Visit a lookout point and survey the area. Claim an outpost, harvest any animal except a puma. I can't wait to see those things. I don't even know what loadout we should go with. I've seen... Oh, there's our first animal. What are you? I heard that. Puma mating call. So we've actually got... I mean, aside from the brown bears and the black bears... A big predator in the game. Well, at least what I would class as a main predator. I know bears definitely are. Listen to it. Oh, wait, is that... Is the puma actually stalking that mule deer? I'm so glad that they've dropped another reserve. I really am. All right, let's get to the... I'm trying to take all of it in. Like, I'm trying to look everywhere at the same time because I'm experiencing this for the very first time, just as you guys are. So pretty. All right, let's get to the outpost then. Then we can take a look at the animals and what else we've got. I know there's like outfits and stuff. I don't think... What's that? Black book. That's like somebody sneezing. Okay, open the door. Oh, that's nice. Different lookouts. Always cool. Lookout point. Oh, look at this. It's got like a radio and everything. So what can we see? This place is my pride and joy. And you can see why. I name it for my husband, Fernando. May he rest in peace. Before he died, I made him a promise that this reserve, with all its abundance, would host the world's most elite hunters and feed the communities around it. Time to keep that promise. I've been hunting here since my husband bought the place all the way back in 1979. You may have heard, I was a two-time back-to-back national champion in the 50-meter rifle, three positions. Oh, damn. No guns. So she's I a former champion. And my park nourishes the biggest, most exquisite free-range tax you'll ever hunt. 
War records are set here. Some of them belong to me. If you're as good as I'm paying you to be, maybe you'll set some records yourself. But let's not cut this torta before it's baked. We've got a lodge to build, outposts to open, wilderness to explore. Some mule there over there. And if you see anything strange along the way, come straight to me and me alone. Loyalty is very, very important to me. My park is a paradise, but sometimes the disloyal people who work here have mala leche. You know, tough luck. I could have swore I just heard a puma. There was like a deep growl coming from over there in those woods. Really want to see one too. Again, a lot of wildlife though, straight from the word go. As soon as we got into the map, there's just, there's loads happening. Alright, we're going to get to 500 meters. Just so you guys know as well, if you are new to the channel or you haven't seen any of these missions before on Call of the Wild, there's generally quite a lot of dialogue. So I'm going to try and remain quiet while they're talking. So we can kind of get a fix on what we got to do and stuff. But for the most part, I think I'll do like the first mission or something. Then we'll do a little bit of exploration unless something really cool comes up. Then we'll go ahead with that. I'm just, again though, I'm just trying to take it all in. Like, just the terrain here, there's elements of like late and late, the mountain areas. The actual lay of the land itself looks very familiar to me in terms of savannah. The animals definitely look unique though. I don't think they're just a copy and paste. They done a really good job with those. A little bit nervous about seeing a puma now. Thought to see one straight away. All right, let's get to this outpost. Let's get that out of the way. And then I think I'm going to load up with a different loadout because what, what have I got right now? Slot number one, we got the Strecker. I was trying to level up my shotguns. That mule deer sounds terrifying. Slot number two, what else did I bring out? The 338. I think I'm going to keep that one on me just in case because I know there's water buffalo on this map. Slot number three, the Panther. I think a 270 might be in order for this map. Alright, let me get to the outpost. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, so I do remember from the dev stream that they were talking about some kind of lodges. Now, when the trailer came out, I know a lot of people thought these were trophy lodges. I think it is a kind of trophy lodge, but I don't think that's the full story. Everything you need should be there. Set up the place. Hey, so that is where we've got to get to. What's that over there? It's like some kind of blind. A pre-built blind or something. I want to check that out. This place looks like it's under construction. Really cool lodge though. Look at the size of this compared to what we used to. We gotta build this up. Is it like part of the mission or something? Alright, let's claim it. I really love the look of these. Looks really clean. Finish so quickly. Maybe I like already. Yeah. You've dribbled the ball this far down the field. Now, score the final goal. What did she say? What did I dribble? So, if you remember the other reserves, those containers outside... Look at this! So nice inside. Look at the detail. We got, we got different reserves. Got a bed where we can rest. Look at that bed! Oh, this is the reserve to be at. This is like the VIP reserve. What's this? Toilet? Can we... Let me just check this. Oh, you can't lift the toilet seat. Okay. Minus points for that one, Dev. I love this, though. Look at that weapons locker. It's so much nicer. All right. Let me quickly change out the weapons. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, slot number one. We should have the Virant point two two. Slot number two should be the 270. And slot number three is the Range Master. I've tried to cover all bases, just depending on what we might come across, so... I'm just get rid of this a second. I can't get over how nice this outpost is. The other reserves have got some catching up to do before they get anywhere close to this. Look at it. All right, what are we going to do? Okay, so our mission right now is just to harvest any animal except a puma. Look at that view in the distance. You hear that? I don't know if that is the puma or if it's another animal. I'm assuming it is because of the, the kind of growl that it makes. I can already bet you guys, right now, the first animal that I'm going to come across is a puma, and I can't harvest it. <laughs> really loving this map, though. The lodges alone, I mean, they're definitely worth it. If you're wondering price-wise, I think I paid £5 for it. Roughly a similar price point to the other reserves, or the latest reserves that I've dropped. Okay, let's see how long ago you were here. Okay, so it's fresh. 
to the hair not too long ago. Look at that. I've said it a million times, guys, but they do such a good job on the way they make these reserves look. And I know a lot of people were excited when they would drop this, because it kind of came out of nowhere as well. They literally just dropped the Savannah map. So I don't think hardly anybody was expecting it. And then one thing led to another, and then, before you know it, you got a new reserve. Now, where did you go, Mule Deer? These guys hiding over the other side. Anyway, let me break out the binoculars. Let's see what we can see. Nothing over there. Any over there in the grass or something? Oh, okay. Yep, we got something. Male Mule Deer. Right, let me see. What about a shot from here? Okay, I don't see movement from another one in this area, so hopefully I took that down. A little bit sketchy taking that shot from there, because I didn't know if it was actually going to hit it or not with the bush in the way. Alright, let's go see how we did. There we go. There's another one shouting at me as well. That will do. Our chef is a master. You'll gain a few kilos eating his food. One plate is never enough. Is that the lodge where we just were? We have a saying here that proof is in the Milanesa, which is to say proof is in action. And so far you are proving worthy of your reputation. Bravo. I wonder if you can get all the way back up there. Now, head up to the lodge site. Mark on your hunter mate. Once the lodge is complete, we can officially open Parque Fernando to the hunters of the world. Oh, nice. So we get to actually open this reserve within the storyline. I like that. All right, let's get back to the lodge. I did want to take another look around the lodge anyway, because I wanted to see what it looks like. No news on the identity of Simona's father yet, but the lodge crew sends their gratitude for that game you harvested. They can't wait to barbecue it. And hello, it looks like you've reached the lodge. Okay, we made it back. We still have a lot of work to do here. There are water pipes in place, but no power system. I may need your help with that later. And once the place is built, we'll need to furnish it and fill it with trophies to impress our guests. Oh yeah, there we go. So we are going to fill this place one with trophies. The lodge that is finished and has been for a while is my archery range. Have you seen it? Okay, so I'm going to come clean with you guys on my way back. I just took a sneak peek at what I thought was that blind that I saw earlier. Look at this! This place is incredible! But yeah, I actually just saw, I took a quick sneak peek at what this actually was because it really piqued my interest when we went past it before. I thought it was a new blind, but it's actually a range. Look at it. Okay, I need to use my binoculars to see that. I thought it was just ambient sound. It very well could be, but... There you go, there it is again. Still haven't seen a puma yet. Start by having a look inside the hunting blind and the hunting tower. To the left, if you are facing the range. These are the same models you'll be installing throughout the reserve. Oh, so these are blinds, okay. So I wasn't wrong with that, nice. Can we actually open them? Look at this! This is super fancy compared to what we used to. That metal clanging's gonna get a little bit old very quickly, but... Reset personal score. So you can actually shoot from these. And look at that, the animals actually have targets over their vitals, which, if you guys didn't know, in their latest stream, they mentioned something about changing how effective a spine shot would be, and they're gonna try and buff the vital shot. So if you actually do get a vital shot, it's, it's more, it has more of an impact on the animal, basically trying to make people go for vitals, which makes sense. Wanna little fun? Step onto the shooting platform and hit a bullseye on one of the targets. Okay. Yes, I know, the range is set up for archery, but if you don't have a bow, it's my range, my rules. Use <laughs> nice. a gun if you want, I do it all the time. Okay, so what we got? We've got all different variations of the deer. We got the water buffalo. Oh, you already know which one we're going for. Okay, that's how you hit the mark. But as shots go, that was an easy one. If you want real challenges over the years, 
I've set up targets all over this park, perfect to test your skills. Think you can match my greatest hits shot for shot? Just look for the stone circles on the ground as you explore. Okay, so that... I'm guessing they're like little side challenges that come with this reserve. That's really nice. So you can see like different targets Back around the reserve. Me. My friend Juliana runs a travel agency that specializes in hunting and fishing expeditions. This week she's bringing in a party of influential hunters to build excitement before we open to the public. One look at our red sacks and they'll be telling all their friends to hunt at Parque Fernando. I really like the way they've structured these missions. We want to greet this party with a proper feast, and the chef has requested fresh game for the occasion. A black bag or an axis deer. There are plenty in the region around the lodge, so go out and hunt one for us, will you? Pardon me, my show is back on. Okay, so I quickly just went back to the lodge to refill on ammunition, and I was just having a quick look just to see if they'd added anything else in terms of equipment, because if I can remember right from the stream, I don't think that they said they did, unless I just must have missed it completely, but I've just found this thing. Let me show you guys. It's called the Axis Deer Screamer Carla, and we're going to test it for the first time right now. <laughs> what is that? Sounds like an industrial drill. I mean, if it works, I'll take it. Right, let's go see if we can find something. <laughs> okay, I just held still for a hot minute or two. There we go, Axis Deer. And it's down. I think it was actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. Use the 270 on it though. So we should be golden. I really can't get over this caller. What's it called? The name of it as well, it's called the Screamer. It's so much fun to use. Right, let's go claim this deer. Okay, here it is. Okay, yeah, so it is only a small deer. Axis yep, and we didn't hold integrity perfect. with that. It may sound easy to grill venison backstrap and serve it with chimichurri sauce, but our chef makes no ordinary chimichurri. Serve that with a 2014 Mendoza Malbec and your mouth will go to heaven. <laughs> but don't get too hungry yet, because this meat is for our guests. There's a shed at the location marked on your hunter mate. Bring the game there and lock it up to keep the predators out. I love what she said then. The meat will make your mouth go to heaven. I love that. Right, what are we gonna do? We gotta go to 1.4 kilometers away and lock something up so the predators don't get to it. <gasps> that was a puma! I just heard the pitter patter of something behind me that I, that I saw it like came flying out of the bush. Oh my god, that's such a cool animation. Wait a second, did he? Oh, it's a female. Did she just chase down my mule deer? There's an axis deer there. Where did the puma go? His tracks go that. Wait, there it is. There it is. <sighs> oh! Oh, there's another one! He's just took a bite out of my leg! Oh, you're so lucky that terrain didn't go up. As soon as it crosses this way, I'm taking a shot. I want myself a puma. Okay, I definitely clipped it. Is it gonna get annoyed like, like some of the bears do when they come charging in? Should have got a shotgun for close range. Oh, I love this. I can't tell you guys like how badly I think that this game needed these things. And in my opinion, it still needs more. I think there's actually another, like there's a third puma that's coming to the area. This one should be down. Just further up ahead, I think. There we go, zero to 25. What's that down there? There's quite a few things like that on this map. You just see like something poking out of the ground. You have no idea what it is. I just shot this thing into oblivion. This was with <laughs> this was with the 338. Let's see what we got with it. Yeah, that is a big Oh wait, is that a red deer? I think it is. Oh, it's so cool to see them on this map. Nice. Okay, yeah, we didn't hold integrity with that. Should have brought the 7mm with me. Where's my Puma gun? Oh, there she is. I can see her. Just lying down over there. Right, let's get a look at her. I've just found another one. Puma down. Oh, I love this. 
I love the fact that there's just not one puma every like two hours of playing or something. If you go to the right areas, you can actually see them in areas where there's the puma's prey, which would make sense as well. All right, let's get this one. What do we get? Nothing great, but we got our first puma, guys. Female, 45.31 kilograms. Tracking distance, almost 500 meters. She didn't give up easily, but it was a hind shot. Look at this beast. Oh, I'm so glad they've added them. Such a cool animal. Okay, that should have been enough of a hit to drop it. It kind of caught me by surprise then. I thought it was over here somewhere because that's where I heard the rustling. And then it was just down over here. Yeah, it should have been plenty enough to drop the animal. Yep, it's just down up ahead. Nice, and we're only 190 meters away from where we got to be for the mission. Oh, we got silver with that. Nice. Didn't hold integrity though. 270 is too high. You won't believe it. Young Simona took the DNA test to see who was her father, Facundo de Churro or Gaston the Lion Dog. The result? Neither man was the father. Simona's third starts anew. This show always gets me with the treats. Oh my heart. <laughs> okay, that was one of the most random things that could have happened in the game. I know that she's got a show, but someone was finding out who the dad is or <laughs> something like that. All right, apparently this area we've got to cover up some food so the predators don't get to it. And by the looks of it, it's an outpost. We've got to close this door. Oh, look at this. Place your game in there. Hang it up on the hook and lock the door. Oh, nice. So it's actually got... We actually see... It. Oh, look Good at that. Work. Thank you. It's too bad we don't have cold storage here, or you could stockpile meat for the future. Running a refrigerator on generator power would cost me a fortune in petrol. We'll need a better power source soon. Okay, I've got to say, I love this idea. The fact that you don't just waste the animal or just use it for a trophy. I love the fact that they've got a little bit more leading to it with the storyline. When we have that power and the whole park is up and running, you will lead groups like this VIP hunting party. For now, I will assign the party to someone else while you prepare the reserve for their arrival. Okay, nice. For example, we want our guests to have some easy fun when they get here. What's more fun than a duck hunt? We have beautifully plumed cinnamon teal. I see them all the time at Lago Peron. Cinnamon teal, that was another animal that was added. All it takes is some decoys and a collar to bring in a whole flock. Go to Lago Peron and set up decoys for the incoming party. Okay, so that leads us on to the next mission that we gotta do. I still can't get over this though. I didn't think that they would add something like this into the game. I don't know how long you guys have been around the channel. But I actually suggested something like this. I'm absolutely not saying that they've done this because of me. It's something obviously a lot of people think about, but I just love how there's more to it. And they, look at the detail on that. All right, she said close the door too, but I don't actually think that I can. Like we've left it there for anything to come and get it, but <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess I'll leave it. Probably gonna come back at a later date. Let me just claim this outpost real quick. And just before we end, I do actually want to take a look inside of this. Is it going to be a similar thing to what we saw at the lodge? Okay, nice. So we kind of always get that VIP treatment with the outposts on Fernando. I love this. Really, really enjoyed this so far. But guys, I think this, just before I knock myself out with the door, I think this is going to be where we're going to end. Let me know what you think about the reserve. I mean, we've only just scratched the surface. We've seen cougars, we've seen a variation of the deer. We're going to take a look at some ducks. I think they were called cinnamon teal. I actually honestly forgot about them, but that's going to be next time. So let me know what you think in the comments below. But for now, we're going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.